Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jonathan here again from GuitarTipsWeekly.com. Head on over and check it out if you haven't already. Um, <clears throat> today we're going to do, just go through a really simple little tip here, uh, talking about how you can change keys in a song. You know, it's popular, you know, if you're singing a song and then you want to give it an extra push, go up a key, right? Maybe on the last verse or the last chorus or something like that. How do you do that? How do you do it seamlessly? Well, little trick, if you know your 1, 4, and 5, and if you don't, head on over to 145.com and uh, check it out. <clears throat> but a little trick, <clears throat> excuse me, frog in my throat, um, is to go to the 5 of the key that you're in and use that as the push chord to go to the next key. So to, let's take an example. What are the keys and chords in the key of G? We got G, C, and D. Um, those are the main chords, right? That's our first, let's just say. Now if we want to go up to another key, what's the key? next key? Next key is A. A, D, and E, right? Our main chords. chords here but can you hear how it moved through without problems going from the key of G to the key of A so let's take the key of C for another example from key to key without a problem. So why is it that these changes work so well in, in every key? Well, it's because of the interval relationship between those notes. If we take our one, which is on, which is the A in this case here on the fifth fret, the five is the E. Well, if we were shifting up a key, we'd be going to a B. Well, from E to B is another five, right? So we go from one to five in the key of A, now we've temporarily shifted to the key of E, and we've got another five, and now the B becomes our one again, and now we're in the key of B, and that becomes the one again. So if you can see, it's kind of like a couple shiftings of uh, through the one and five relationship. Listen to what it sounds like if I just do. going one five one five one five etc and it sounds really cool in fact if you if you know the song hey joe the chord progression is very much based around this so anyways there's just something for you to think about next time you're trying to do a key change and wondering how you can pull it off just go to the five and you'll be just fine so this is jonathan here from guitartipsweekly.com head on over and check it out you can sign up for free video tips every week and if you're watching on youtube hit the yellow subscribe button we'll see you again next time